Good morning, my lovely students. I hope all of you are safe and healthy. Let's begin today's lesson. We are still on chapter 5. Here you see ancient civilization Mesopotamia. But today we will uh, learn about chapter... Uh, today we will cover lesson 5, that is the Assyrian. And you will find it on page 114. So quickly open up your books. So here we go. First, uh, today in our last class, we talk about the Babylonians and today we will learn about Assyrian Empire. Here you see the Assyrian Empire. First, we will talk about its name. So, the Assyrian Empire derives its name from a city called Assyria or Ushur. Assyria or Ushur. So, these are the name of the cities and this empire derived the name from these cities. And it is developed on the, it was developed on the west bank of Tigris River. And with passage of time, uh, these cities, they turned into a strong empire in 19th century. So in 19th century, uh, these uh, places, these areas, they turned into a strong empire. And that empire was known as the Assyrian Empire. Then uh, we will uh, learn about its location. Where were it located? Where was it located? So Usher was located, uh, basically Usher was the name of a city. And Usher was located where the east-west trade caravans crossed the Tigris River. So you, when you will open up your books, you will find a clear map on your books. And you can see the location of the Tigris River and Arabian Gulf and everything is uh, that the map in your book is more clear than the map I pasted here. So what happened that uh, they were actually located to the east west trade caravans used to cross that uh, area. So the Assyrians they when because the caravans they used to cross that, those uh, areas uh, cross that river so they benefited the Assyrians they benefited from uh, uh, from the fact that the trade moved up and down the river. So they learned from different cultures uh, that developed in the region and they especially learned from the Babylonian culture. So they learned a lot from the Babylonian culture because the trade, uh, the caravans used to cross uh, that river. So different type of cu culture and different type of uh, civilizations were crossing that river for the purpose of trade. Then uh, we will talk about the Assyrians that how were, what kind of people they were. Since the Assyrians, uh, they were uh, located in the middle of Fertile Crescent, so many groups, they attempted to control uh, them. But the Assyrians, they were very tough warriors, and they, they knew how to make iron weapons. They were very strong uh, people. So not only did the Assyrians, they protected themselves uh, against the invaders, rather they also able to uh, conquer their surrounding neighbors. So because they were also uh, very strong that they, they didn't let anyone get control over them, rather they were controlling other people. They started invading other surrounding neighbors. So with passage of time, they become a strong uh, Assyrian empire. Then uh, we will talk about the capital uh, city of the Assyrian empire. The capital city of the Assyrian empire was Nineveh. Here you see Nineveh. It, Nineveh. it was the capital city of Assyrian Empire. And uh, the other cities of Assyrian Empire, they were center of commerce, government and religion. And uh, you should also know what is commerce. Here I divide commerce is buying, selling, exchanging and tra transporting of good. Co commerce is a term which means buying, selling, exchanging and transporting of goods. So the other cities of um, Assyrian Empire, they were centers of commerce, government and religion. And they also contained luxurious temples and palaces. There were so many luxurious temples and palaces in other cities. And even the streets were designed to include drainage system. Okay, so they were, uh, they were so developed even those times that they had drainage system. Then uh, there is something very special about these uh, civilization is aqueducts. Here you see aqueducts. 
aqueducts uh, here i put the definition of what what is actually aqueducts but the cities uh, the assyrian cities they also had aqueducts and it was at that time it was like a stone channels or pipes that carried water from distant places and uh, each city was surrounded by walls for protection so even in those times when technology was not uh, very well known uh, the assyrian empire they were so developed that they had aqueducts aqueduct is basically in simple words you can say it is a system of pipes nowadays like in modern worlds it's a system of pipes ditches canals tunnels and structures that used for uh, that is used to carry water from a source to a distribution point far away from uh, a far away distance where you have plenty plentiful water uh, you use these channels and canals and tunnels to get the water so uh, the assyrian cities they used to have these aqueducts and they they were like stone channels and uh, uh, so they get they carried water from distant places okay so next we have uh, babylonia the connection between babylonia and assyria uh, they both were the empires of mesopotamia but who ruled over whom so here you will see that assyrians they were able to expand and develop an assyrian empire how because as we read that they were very tough warriors and they knew how to make iron weapons so what they did they bring the kingdom of babylonian under their control so what they did they brought the kingdom of babylonian under their control so the assyrian the babylonian also change into assyrian empire because they invaded they invaded babylonia okay so whatever was in babylonia like uh, the cultural and scientific achievements of babylonians were usually preserved on a clay tablet so when they invaded babylonia they also received the assets of babylonia uh, babylonian empire and one of them was clay tablets so these tablets uh, they 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 received they had received these tablets and what they did they put these tablets and they kept those tablets in the library of assyrian capital nineveh so they put those tablets in the capital city of nineveh in a library okay and then the most important thing like always is your task for today your homework your assignment is today is to read the chapter thoroughly again in detail and then you have to open your workbooks you will see page 80 and 81 and after reading your whole chapter you have to attempt the filling the blanks and questions and answers whatever you will find on page 80 and 81 you have to attempt those and please take care of take good care of yourself and don't go out and wash yourself is uh, properly and keep your area clean and inshallah we will meet again take care Bye bye